horizontal and vertical saccades. Ask the patient to look between your nose and finger while keeping their head still, first to one side and then the other. Watch to see whether both eyes move at the same time and note how accurate the eye movement is. Can they find the target in one or two eye movements? Peripheral vestibular deficits do not affect saccades. Any abnormalities can be taken as an indication of possible central involvement. Repeat the test looking at vertical eye movement. This patient with multiple sclerosis cannot move both eyes at the same time. The eye moving towards the nose moves more slowly during the saccade. In this patient this is more obvious when she looks to the right.